Hello everyone, welcome to Babylon Leather official channel. Let us make this tote bag set today. Firstly, confirm all the leather and accessories in the kit. Find this material, use the thread three times the length of the sewn part each time you could measure the thread a little more. The thread is absolutely enough. Thread the needles, pass the thread through the needle. Then pull out a section, let the needle point to pierce the thread. Pull it tight, now it is done. Thread the other needle in the same way. Now we should sew this part. Let's check the sewn up effect first. Start sewing from this pinhole. Let the needle from the bottom to top. The one with larger holes is the front side, and the one with smaller holes is the back side. Then let the needle pass through the first pinhole on the other side, from bottom to top. Let the second needle pass through the second pinhole in the same way. Pull the two threads, keep them in the same length. Let the first needle pass through the second pinhole, don't pierce the thread. Then let the needle pass through the second pinhole on the other side, from top to bottom. Pull the thread tight, then the finished effect will appear. Sew up this row of pinholes in the same way, don't miss any pinhole, don't pierce the thread.
After sewing up each stitch, pull it tight. The direction should be consistent to swing the thread. After all pinholes sewn up, get one needle and wind the thread once like this. Finally, make a back stitch to reinforce it. Now let both needles on the back side. Finally, let the thread end in the gap between the two materials. Cut the thread leaving AR, Hami and bone of the thread ends with a lighter. Let's check the sewn up effect. Sew up the other one in the same way. Let's check the sewn up effect. Find these army materials. Let the large materials back side up. Let the small materials front side up. Then align the pinholes. Let's check the sewn up effect. Placement in the right direction to buckle up. Get to edge bending. The short one is used to sew this pocket. Look first whether the edge is flat. If it is not flat, then cut it flat. If it is flat, then don't bother. The suede side is the back side, and the leather side is the front side, front side facing out. Use the thread times the length of the sewn part, thread the needles. Start sewing from the first pinhole on the bottom of the edge bending. Let the needle from the top to bottom. Then let the needle pass through the center hole of the two materials. The center hole is much larger than the other pinholes. Then let the needle pass through the first pinhole on the top of the edge bending. Let the needle from the bottom to top. Let the second needle pass through the second pinhole. Pull the two threads, keep them in the same length. Use clips to fix the materials, it will be a little better to sew. Let the first needle pass through the second pinhole, don't pierce the thread. Pull the thread tight, now we successfully start the stitching. Keep sewing in this way, sew to the end after sewing up each stitch. Pull it tight, the direction should be consistent to swing the thread.
Don't miss any pinhole. Don't pierce the thread. Pay attention to these points every time you sew. No more hints later. Keep sewing. Add the small material to sew together from this marker hole. Count the pinholes before you finish sewing. There is one more pinhole of the edge bending than the pocket, cutting off the extra edge bending. I still have two pinholes left to be sewn here, so the edge bending leaves three holes, the remaining cut off. Finally, end the stitching and deal with the thread ends in the same way. Let's check the sewn up effect. Use the thread by times the length of the sewn part, thread the needles. Start sewing from the first pinhole, let the needle from bottom to top. Then let the second needle pass through the second pinhole. Keep sewing in this way, finally end the stitching and deal with the thread ends. Get the handle material and back body material. The handle needs to be divided into front and back. The drum up is the front. The handle is sewn on the top of the bag like this. Use the thread wood times the length of the sewn part. Thread the needles. Start sewing from the first pinhole of V-hole position, let the needle from the bottom to top. Then let the second needle pass through the second pinhole. Keep sewing to the end. When sewing to this pinhole, align the pinholes of the handle and large body material. The front side of both materials face up. Let the needle on the bottom of the handle pass through the corresponding pinhole of the large body material. 
from top to bottom. Then use this needle to sew the V-shaped hole position individually. We don't use the other needle here. After all pinholes sewn up, sew backwards. Sew back to the previous hole position individually, then continue to use double needle stitching to sew up. Then keep sewing with the double needle stitching method. Finally end the stitching and deal with the thread ends. Let's check the two handle sewn up effects, then let the two handle bottom up. Put together like this. Use the thread by times the length of the sewn part, thread the needles. Let the first needle pass through the first pinhole on the left. Let the second needle pass through the first pinhole on the right. Pull the two threads, keep them in the same length. Let the first needle on the left pass through the second pinhole on the right. Let the right needle pass through the second needle on the left. Then turn the handle to the front, thread the two needles respectively to the opposite parallel pinholes. The cross stitch method is to sew on the back side towards the next pinhole on the opposite side, thread the needle to the opposite parallel hole when sewing on the front side. Finally, make our back stitches to reinforce it, then let the thread end on the back side. Let's check the sewn up effect. Both materials front sides are facing outward, with the handle exposed. Use the thread three times the length of the sewn part, thread the needles. 
Align the pin holes on both sides, whichever side is on top is fine, just make sure the other side is consistent. Start sewing from the first pinhole, then sew up this row of pinholes with the double needle stitching method. These five pinholes are not sewn now, and later sewn together with the small leather piece. Sew up the other side in the same way, note that both sides should be consistent. Get these are small leather pieces and RD buckles. Then combine the small leather piece and D button like this, small leather's front side faces out. D buckle arc facing outward. Use the thread three times the length of the sewn part, thread the needles. There are both thin rows of pinholes on the small leather piece and back body piece. Align the pinholes. Start sewing from the pinhole in the upper left corner. Then keep sewing with the double needle stitching method. Finally, let the thread end on the back side. Let's check the two sides sewn up. Use the thread three times the length of the sewn part, thread the needles. Start sewing from the first pinhole in this vertical row. Let the needle from the bottom to top. Then let the needle pass through the center hole of this material. From bottom to top, the center hole is larger than other pinholes. Then keep sewing with the double needle stitching method. Don't miss any pinhole. Need to pay attention here, the seam does not need to be sewn, only sew the pinholes on both sides of the seam. The seam does not need to be sewn, only sew the pinholes on both sides of the seam. Only sew the pinholes on both sides of the seam, leave a longer thread and, and cut the thread off. We would deal with the thread ends together with the other side.
Now with the bad mouth, get the zipper material and piping strip. Use the thread by times the length of the sewn part, thread the needles. First look at the piping strip to see if they are flat, if not, trim them. Start sewing from the first pinhole under the piping strip. Let the needle from top to bottom. Then let the needle pass through the first pinhole of the back body piece, from bottom to top. Then let the needle pass through the first pinhole on the upper side of the piping strip, from bottom to top. Then let the second needle pass through the second pinhole with the same method. Keep sewing in this way. It will be easier to sew to using a clip to fix it like this. Sew it individually on the first three stitches, add the zipper to sew together on the shard stitch. Now we should sew the shard stitch at the zipper. Let the zipper and the back body materials back side to back. The shard's pinhole of the back body piece is aligned with the first pinhole of the zipper and fixed with clips. Then keep sewing, there are many leather pieces. Be careful not to miss any pinhole. First unzip the zipper for better sewing. Sew to the shards pinhole on the opposite side and add zipper to sew in the same way. Take care to ensure that the zipper works properly, then continue sewing. Let's check the sewn up effect. Now we install the hardware.
get the short screws and hexagonal nails, hexagonal nails on the outside, short screws on the inside, tighten the screws like this. Get the bottom pad. PU material face up, put it in the back. Then install the long screws. Install the anti-friction nails by hand, then tighten them with a screwdriver. This wonderful bag is complete now. Well, thanks for choosing Babylon Leather, thanks for watching, hope you get more skills here.